everybody, it's Christine with Coco Daisy, and I am going to share with you my setup, my planner setup for April using the Take Flight collection, which is all things spring and um, hot air balloons, kites, cute little birds, all of the umbrellas, all of the things that you would associate with a uh, spring day, especially here in Michigan, where we can go from snow to sunny and warm in the matter of uh, 24 hours. So <laughs> I am using my Vanderspec, and this is a really pretty, almost a um, a minty green, and it's kind of an ostrich leather. And then I have the navy or the dark blue on the inside, and I thought it went really, really well with this um, particular collection. So I'm gonna go through this. If you're familiar with my setups, they're pretty consistent. I have found my happy place um, <laughs> when it comes to my setup. So I kinda go with that each month. It makes it easy and not hard to, you know, again, if I found my happy place, why, why switch it up too much? I try and do a little bit, but um, so starting out with a pocket, I've got my notepad here, the pretty bow, a couple of the, um, I believe this was one of the TN cards from the Traveler's Notebook kit. And then I think that was the, um, this is one of the pocket cards, or it could be, I can't take it out because it's all kind of stuck down with the, with the notepad. That's how I keep it from shifting. Um, but I think that may be the pen ink tester card. A few of the cute little die cuts, the little button. So the button that comes in the stationery kit will come with a pin backing, which you can use then like that, or you can flip that out and use it with our magnetic um, backer clips, which I think we still have a few of these in the store. This pen is actually from March, but I thought it went really, really pretty with this. So that's kind of got my backup pen there. And this clip is from a previous collection, but I thought the coral color went perfectly. So I added that in here as well. And then uh, for the tab page, all I did was add a few of the little raindrop glitter dots. I thought they were really pretty. And those were from the, um, the memory keeping kits. I've got my um, weather stickers in here. I believe these were from the main planner and these were from the um, planner add-on. But I think it's gonna be fun to keep track of the weather each day using these. I think I'm gonna use them on my weekly spreads. So just kind of almost like a little journaling thing. I think that'll be fun because uh, April, like I said, can be really crazy here. The adorable overlay, and this is from the stationery kit. And then my weekly stripe pages. I used some of my older stamps on here with the, um, the newer stamps. And I wanted to show you a couple of ideas too. So these are the two stamp sets that are part of the collection. And I believe you can still purchase these two stamp sets. I'll try and link it below. Uh, I think we have a few of them left. So you can get them either in the um, Modern Memory Keeping Kit or the Traveler's Notebook Kit, or you can purchase them together in the, um, the stamp subscription. And there's a listing for that. And I do think there's a few of those left. Uh, what I wanted to mention though is if, you, if you've been with Coco Daisy for a while, something that works really well with these, especially if you love the little birds like I do, I pulled out some of my older um, bird stamps. So go through your stash and pull out some of the older bird stamps and they would be really, really cute mixed in um, with these as well. So you can pull those out. I used... Um, a set that I have and I don't remember where it's from if it's ours or somewhere else um, but the little numbers so I stamped the little numbers this time 
And then I just created a cute little um, collage there because these are the pages that I record all of my photos on. So you can see here, I keep track of all of my photographs and I use that as reference when I make my, um, my scrapbook pages. So I will go through and be able to know what photo goes with what day because I try to do a photo a day for my scrapbooking. And you can check out um, on my Instagram, I always do a flip through uh, for each month. You can check out how that all turns out as far as the scrapbooking goes. But I just had fun stamping these cute little collages, little groupings with those. I added April photos. I went through my stash and pulled out a bunch of the um, the label stickers. Some are from this month. Some are, um, like I said, from my stash. And just had fun with that. I love the cute little birdies. They're always my favorite. The vellum is from the stationery kit. And then we go into our week on two pages. I did, I do my menu plan on this side. And then I have um, my week on two pages. And what I've been doing the last few months, and I, I, I love it, it makes it super, super simple. But our sticker collections have so many great stickers as far as um, layering. So like you have the decorative, you have some of the, the um, little scheduling um, stickers, and then some of the pretty vellum ones so it's just makes it really really simple and then of course all of the great alphas to layer them so that's what I did here is I did just stickers I don't think I used any rub-ons I think it was just stickers and then the really cute big huge raindrop um, sticky note that is from the stationery kit and then I have our little calendar card and some of you have asked about the calendar card that there isn't one in May. And, and we don't always include one. If that's something that you want us to have every single month, please let me know. Put it in the comments below. Um, because if that's a staple that you all really, really enjoy, then I can try and make um, sure that I include it in a particular kit every month so it's not jumping around. If it's something you want every every single month. We try to keep things fresh and you know, um, not have the exact same stuff every month so you don't get bored. But if this is something that you really look forward to, then leave me a comment below. Um, so again, just did some layering, some of the, I put the little tabs on here. I haven't stamped these yet. I was going to go through and maybe um, do one of the flowers or something. I wasn't sure what I wanted to put um, or a sticker. I'll just do something on those. I just haven't done those yet. Been a little behind. Um, and then again, just more layering. You can see here where I, I cut off some of the stickers. I thought the clouds were kind of cute to have those kind of go off the page. But left plenty of room for writing and adding whatever I need to add. And then the little vellum ones. Yeah, I pretty much it was all stickers. I loved these, um, out the puffy alphas with those alphas together. I thought those were just a nice combination. And then again, just more layering of stickers. Makes it super, super easy. The big raindrop to add a, as little or as much as you want to your pages. And then we go into the uh, monthly section where I keep track of some of my monthly to do. I added two of the little puffy um, flower stickers on there. I didn't do a lot. Sorry, I'm just grabbing a couple things that I wanted to show you. So on this is one of the dashboards and that is from the dashboard kit that you get uh, both sizes, you get A5 and the personal. And then what I did, so this is some pattern paper, and I thought it layered really well with the larger adhesive pocket. And I think the adhesive pocket 
was either in the main planner or it was in the uh, planner add-on. You get two of them, you get a small and a large. I put the large in here. It has the fun little scallop edge on it. But I love the way it layered with the paper. And then these are, um, this is a notepad that we, we have, we still have it in the store. And I thought it went perfect. The color, the design, the little doodle of the flower um, with this collection. So a lot of times what I'll do is I will cut up um, like a week's notebook or a standard size notebook and use those pages for larger lists. You've seen me do that um, for a couple of months. But I really, really liked this. I thought this was perfect. Size was perfect. So I just um, tore off a few sheets of that from my notepad and put that in there. And this is in, we do still have some of these in the store. It's just kind of a staple we have. They're a great um, larger notepad if you need one. So I have that there. I have my monthly to do and then the calendar page and again just layered some of this time with the die cuts um, there's a few stickers on here as well did just a little bit of stamping but plenty of room to add all of my um, stuff for the month and it's going to be a busy month just a single sticker that matches those in there leaving that wide open another dashboard starting with the daily pages now if you get our inserts they are designed to work as a two-page spread um, so I've got them all dated I've got the um, all of the sections labeled and then I also put the little meal plan so I know what's cooking that day so when you get it it's meant to be done as a two-page spread so you start out with this kind of page just kind of hanging here I cover that up with a dashboard. So I go right into my two page spread. I have my to-do list and I printed this out on one of the notebook pages. So you can totally get our notebooks, any of the sizes that work and just, I use, um, I show in my tutorial videos how I'm using some of those pages for actual layouts for like pattern paper. You can use them for lists. You can cut them apart. You can use them however you want. Just think of them as, as more artwork and more pages. You could, um, un you could take them apart and punch holes and use them as extra pages in with your inserts as well. So nothing says that you cannot. Um, I wanted the puffy stickers, a couple of the cute little rub-ons. This is a card from the Modern Memory Keeping Kit. This is one of the four by six pocket cards. This is one of the, the personal size dashboards. I didn't feel I needed to add anything to this. I thought it was cute just the way it was. And then I took some of the 12 by 12 paper of the kites and I turned that into my pocket card using uh, my silhouette machine. I have a, um, oh, in my silhouette, I have one of the patterns and it's just this um, pocket. It's the same one I use every month. It's not ours, so I can't, um, I can't, and it's really old. I don't even know if they still have it. So there's no way I could find it and, and put a link. I apologize for that. Um, and a little rub on. This is a card from a previous kit. I always keep these. I love the little quote cards, a couple of the little puffy stickers. And then I have the April journaling card from the journaling kit. Isn't that a cute? Some cute ideas um, for journaling listed on there as well. And then I have the stickers. And I wanted to mention I had put these in the early ordering portal because they go really, really well. The colors do. We have these are just some of our stock stickers that we keep in the store. So if you go to the Daisy store or shop, you will see a listing for stickers in these and a few other ones are in there and they just go really, really well. So I included those with my little sticker batch for the month because I use these on my daily pages. So those just all go in my little pocket. I made a bookmark using, um, I'm trying to remember if that's a dashboard or if that is, 
I think this was another um, Traveler's Notebook card. I think this might have been a dashboard. And I just layered them together, cut them into a tag shape. This is a rub-on. I thought it went really, really well. I put that up at the top, added some of the raindrop sticky notes because I think they're adorable and they'll go really cute on my daily pages. A little puffy bird there. And then we have all of the daily pages. And then I have an April dashboard, and then I put the cute little clip on there, and that has that little umbrella, adorable. That is on there. And then of course, I'll add in all of my monthly stuff. Um, added some patterned paper, I love this one. I added patterned paper on the back, some more of the dashboards. So I have all of my sections set up. Some of the patterned paper, one of the little note cards, and another of the dashboard and some more of the patterned paper. And then I have my highlighter, which was, um, i trying to remember, I don't remember which kit the highlighter came in, but I have that as well. And then the pretty pen. I love how the colors turned out. Kind of with that coral orange and then the yellow and then, of course, the little daisy on top. I will say something fun that I've just started playing with is I got a fountain pen. Yasmin and Jenny were talking, we were having a meeting and they were talking about fountain pens. And I was like, okay, I have to try. So this is a Twisby, uh, Twisby Diamond, I believe. And the inks are gorgeous. Like if you do a fountain pen, like the inks are so fun. So I wanted kind of a shimmery blue, and this Aurora Borealis is so pretty, and it is a diamine, diamine, diamond, diamine. I don't know if I'm saying that right, sorry. But it's a beautiful, beautiful um, ink. That's the brand. So I've been having fun playing with that as well. And then our um, pouch is the clear one this month. Super cute. And I love... So I've got some other goodies in here, but I wanted to show you a couple things. So this is a washi cutter. So this was in the, um, the planner add-on. And that is used just to cut washi. And then this adorable... So these guys, the little spools, these are little spools that you can wrap washi tape around. Those were included in the in the main planner. And then this little key ring with the little rainbow, that was part of the stationery kit. And that's why I love that we revamped the stationery kit. It used to be called um, the classified planner. It just gives me a little more leeway to just include some fun things and some interesting things and new things and so I really really like that. So if you're unfamiliar with how to use a washi cutter let me show you real quick. So you would just lay your tape down like that and then if you want a nice clean edge you just do that and it cuts it right off. How cool is that? And it's a pretty happy rainbow. You can't go wrong with that. See, so it gives you that perfect cut line. So that's what that is meant for. And then in the main planner, you get this great pouch, which you can keep some of your pens in. And what I wanted to show you, someone on our Facebook page had the brilliant idea, you can use these for a pen case or um, eyeglass case or sunglass case. How cute is that? And they fit. I was like, that's awesome. So I had to share that with you as well because I was like, if you have a couple of these or you have a favorite that works great and you you know, you know just kind of keep all your pens in there and then you get another one, you're like, well, what can I do that? I'm like, sunglasses. I have so many sunglasses all over and that would be perfect. So I thought that was a really, really neat little idea that I wanted to share with you. So that is a look at the uh, my planner setup for April using various pieces and parts from the Take Flight collection. Thank you so much. As always, hit uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment. 
I know that I have a, a, a set way of doing my planner. If there's something that you would like to see though, um, that maybe isn't too far out of my comfort zone <laughs> as far as I don't use, I don't really use the notebooks for planning, but if there's something else that you would like me to show on how to use the notebooks, um, anything like that, just leave a comment. Either I or someone on my team, we can maybe come up with some ideas to share you if you're really looking for um, something specific. So again, thank you so much and I will see you next month.